So let's talk about the FBX, the OBJ, and the USD file formats, and why they apply to you, if they do. I oh. So let's talk about the OBJs first. The OBJ is a very simple file. Uh, it was created by a company called Wavefront, I believe. It stores geometry data. It has material set up as well, but that's part of an MTL file. And you can also put a textures that accompany the file of .obj. So that's about it. It doesn't really have much information. Whereas the FBX, it uh, has a little bit more. So the FBX has geometry, materials, textures, animation data, camera and lighting setup, and it was created by Autodesk. I'm trying to just go off memory here. The beauty of these two file formats is that it's easily transferable between applications, okay? But let's talk about USD. Mm, USDs. So the USD file format was created by Pixar. So you know, it's probably gonna be half decent, okay? It's more for the entertainment industry where it can grab all your data files, you know, OBJs, FBX, import them into a USD file and create a kind of like a scene-based file format. So not only will it have geometry, materials, textures, um, animation, camera setup, lighting setup, environment setup, the big, the big thing, the big thing is the collaboration capabilities of a USD file format. Now, I will cover this in future videos. This is kind of just a very short video, but you can have two artists, more than two artists, multiple artists working on the one file at the same time, live syncing. Now, there's plenty of companies starting to uptake the USD file format. Look at this picture. I hope it came up. Future Marco, can you just put it in? So my three favorite tools, are Blender, Reillusion, and Omniverse. They're starting to look at USD files. Now, Blender, no so much, but NVIDIA Omniverse has built an add-on for Blender to make it USD compliant-ish. I know. In a, in a later video, I'll go through the process of um, exporting from Blender to USD file format. And so this is opening up a bunch of uh, collaborational opportunities. Now, I did do a test uh, the other day of having my Perception Your Emotion Capture Suit live sync into iClone 8, and then it live sync into NVIDIA Omniverse. And then I had someone in the US live sync into NVIDIA Omniverse, and we kind of worked with motion capture suits together at the same time across the world. <laughs> now, the other important thing with the USD file format is that it's new and it's still being developed, where you've got the FBX and the OBJ, they're kind of like, eh, we are old, we not touch anymore, you, you leave us. I don't know. So in some of the upcoming videos, I'm gonna go through the full process of creating this animation. I don't know, whatever it is, I haven't done it yet, so I, I don't know what it looks like, but it's probably on screen. Yeah? Sick. So if you haven't subscribed, keep up to date with that, please. And also that scene was rendered on an RTX A6000, a beautiful character. And also that scene was rendered on an RTX A6000. Oh my goodness, it is so sick. Mm.